Hello world! We are broken by grace. There's so many different elements. We have horns. Even though we're a harder group, we can still break down and do that intimate type stuff where we just play, you know, like a coffee house style and our songs are capable of transforming themselves from both sides and not losing the power or the message that they have there with them. Symphonic metal, hard rock, pop, melodic rock, hair metal, ska, uh, postmodern grunge. We really blend them together well to create a sound that's basically from the 70s to about the 2000s that is pretty modern with what it comes off as, but it still has relics of each of the individual musics that we all love. Just because of the, the melodicness of the music and because there's so much influences that we're drawing from, I find that a lot of people that aren't into, say, the harder rock, the metal, really still connect with the lyrics and the melodies of the songs. I like the, the punk, ska, rock feel of the rhythm and that, we, that we do, that we, we get into how they all fit together. It, it, it's really um, different. As a metal guy, you know, I love the things that pound hard and go fast, and there's so much rhythm that we have going on. There's just a good variety. You know, it's creative, it's fresh, it's new. If you like rock and roll music, you're going to find at least one song of ours that you're going to dig. My song Matt does a lot of the lyric writing because he's the singer, but when it comes to the lyrics that he sings, I have to feel a part of them inside of me in order for me to really get into the song, and he has yet to sing a song or, or bring a song in front of me that I have not gotten into personally. Um, I know that there's a lot of times you try to include at least one or two verses within each song that you've wrote. I usually catch at least one verse from the Bible. I grew up on stuff like Petra and White Cross, and that's where I learned a lot of my Bible verses. <laughs> Tim and I just kind of got together and we're like, you know, we really need to write songs that we can easily teach so when those people leave, they've got that song stuck in their head and those positive lyrics that they're walking away with. That's our goal. So you're, you're teaching them scripture. One of my first favorite songs with the band was Work in Progress. That spoke to me about who, you know, he was and also who I am. Because I know I'm a work in progress. God's working on me every day. I'm nowhere near perfect. But, and it's, it's songs like that, or Transform. You know, it's talking about, you know, how a person goes from being broken to, to being restored to the, within Christ. And that's the essence of the band, that's the essence of our name, Broken by Grace. It actually defines us so well. Right. <laughs> Yeah, we're all, all broken people. We've come from bro either broken relationships or broken health or broken dreams um, or all of the above. <laughs> or all of them, yeah. It, it's just, a, it's one of those things. Right, so I always, even though sometimes I focus on the bad times, I always like to bring them back around and, and bring hope. And you'll find that even with the, the grittier, more lamenting songs that we're still bringing hope at the end of that. will not be shaken. I've run into a lot of people or God has placed those people in my life that are just beating themselves up and because they feel like they're not good enough for God, they're not, you know, they keep failing. And you know, the Bible says, he that is set free is free indeed. And they're not experiencing the freedom of, of that God has for them. And I just want them to be able to see that you don't have to keep beating yourself up, that the price has already been paid. Jesus already died on the cross. Yeah, you're gonna mess up, he knows that. If you could change yourself, you wouldn't need him anymore. Exactly. Right, yeah. I grew up, um, what most people would have referred to as on the other side of the tracks. So yeah. I have a different take on you know the broken people of the world. I can't say, oh, well, look at these people who are hooked on drugs. I feel that they're worthless because they could be my brother or my, you know, my father or any of those people. And I have to love them. 
When you listen to your modern FLN stations or any of the, the Christian channels out there right now, you have a lot of praise music, and that's fantastic. But at the same time, people need relatability. They need to know that you aren't just up here on the stage singing glory, 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 that you're actually a real person who's experienced real hardships and that you're actually singing about something that's from your heart because that will connect with them. Miles away from home. When I was dying, literally dying, uh, I could have just said, oh, woe is me, I'm never gonna fulfill my calling, but that's not what I chose to do. I chose to praise God in all, all the circumstances. It was through divine appointments that God uh, brought me people. I played for nurses, I brought my guitar in, I went to the chapel and played the piano and uh, saw you know, the love of God shine through all that and, and, and uh, do some pretty neat things. God did allow me to suffer much strife, but it was for His glory. We really want to be a part of your ministry. Our ministry is your ministry. It's you guys that help make what we do possible. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, we're not here to try and make a name for ourselves. We're just here to get Jesus' message out and, and try and get as many people to understand his love.